my little yarnivores and spiderettes, fiber spider back again, this time to show you another kind of casting on method. I've already done the long tail cast on and the short tail cast on. However, I'm going to show you now the knitted cast on, which I recently discovered and I found that it's quite quite a good little stitch to learn. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off, of course, with our slip knot. See, I like it because it has the stability of the long tail cast on, um, but it has the short tail cast on capability. See, this is my short tail right here, and uh, I always like to leave a bit of length there, even though I'm not going to use all of it. And so being sure not to use your tail, which I often do, we're going to be working with our working on you here, and we're going to do our knit cast on. So with one stitch on our little slip knot there, we're going to insert the needle as if to knit. And now we're pulling that loop up. And you see how we have this loop here? Okay, now with this loop, we're going to go underneath and underneath the loop and put it onto the needle and then pull the yarn just a little bit to not give it a stranglehold but make it a little snug and that is a knit cast on. And I'm going to do this a couple times, so just as if you're knitting. Now, when I first started doing this, I made the mistake of pulling the, the yarn up and then immediately putting it onto the needle. That does not work. Trust me, it does not work. What you have to do is you have to go underneath because it needs that twist. That way, when you are actually knitting, um, the alignment, you know, the, uh, the alignment of the loops works. Okay. So again, going in as if to knit, and basically you are knitting, but you're pulling up that loop, and then you're going underneath with your left hand needle, and you just pull the yarn. I love this cast on. Absolutely love it. Um, the short tail cast on, I like the simplicity of it. However, with the short tail cast on, I find that it's somewhat difficult to actually get into your stitches sometimes, um, especially if you have a rather exuberant amount of tension on your yarn, which I tend to do. Uh, my stitches tend to be rather tight, and so this, I find, works out really, really, really well um, because when you go to actually do your knitting, um, it works out a lot better, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So basically, when you're ready to actually start knitting, you start knitting. And if you saw my previous video on the short tail cast on, it can be a little tricky to get into your cast on loops. But this, this works as if you already knit a row and you're just going into a second row. It works really, really well. It works really easy. And this particular casting on would be especially convenient if you are doing a really wide piece that needs a lot of cast on stitches and you're using a yarn that changes color, this would be ideal for that because then your cast on row and your first knitted row won't clash with each other. Everything will be homogenous. So again, it's just another little trick that I really wanted to share with you. Um, well, not so much of a trick, but it's a technique. And, uh, you know, you can add that to your repertoire. And hopefully, it's something that you'll be able to use, and it'll make your life a little bit easier. That's what I'm all about. So, 
If you like the video, please hit the little thumbs up button down below. And if you have any questions, comments, what have you, please do so in the comments section down below. Love hearing from you guys. And if you haven't hit subscribe, please do so as well, because I try to post videos as often as I can. And so until next time, my dears, I want you all to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Thank you.